Today, I played Stardew Valley for the first time ever. Before we jump into it, only an extremely small percentage of the people watching this video are actually subscribed. So just consider subscribing. It's completely free and you can always change your mind later. Now, let's get into the video. The first thing that I had to do was make a custom character. As I was making this character, it got me thinking. What if in real life we could like customize our own characters? I mean, imagine going outside and seeing someone looking like All Might with a Hello Kitty head and sonic legs. That'd be just insane. Anyways, I finished my character. I tried my best to make it look as much like me as I could. I think I did pretty good. As soon as I loaded in, I immediately started hitting stuff. As anyone would, of course. But my brain thought the best tool to use for breaking stone would be an axe. Even though I clearly have a pickaxe in my hotbar. Or we have to use the sheath, or the sleeve, or the... Scythe. <laughs> the scythe. That's what I meant to the say. The sheath, the sleeve? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm also playing with a friend. We walked into town and talked to this guy named Harvey. I have no idea what he said, I kind of... I didn't don't know him out. Let's hope Harvey had nothing important to tell us. Now here's me mistakenly using this box as a chest, when in reality, it's a trash can. I feel like the game should have made that a bit more clear. Unless that's what Harvey was trying to tell us. This isn't a chest, this is a trash can. I just put everything in there too. <laughs> so after getting some things, throwing it all away, then restarting, we finally started our farm. So apparently we have to eat to live. I don't know, that's weird. But anyways, I tried some sap. Remember. I need another sap. Don't keep oh, eating. I'm sick again. It's supposed to give me energy, it lied. Oh, negative two energy, oops. Oh, it just ate some. We woke up the next day to a letter from Willie. He says he's got something for us. But to be honest, I'm not sure if I trust him. So I went to see Willie to see what he's got for me. Turns out it's just a fishing rod. That we are not getting back. How do we leave? Go back the way we came. How did we come? The, uh, oh. I then heard the sound of banjo music, and I remembered I myself can play the banjo, so I had to show off my skills. Which you will not hear because it sounded awful. For some reason, I started to fake a country accent. I feel the need to talk in a country accent. I just feel the need as a farmer. The squirrel didn't even come down with it. We learned how to properly grow our crops. Apparently, you have to water them. I don't know, that's weird though. Now, for some reason, my business partner wanted to go to sleep in the middle of the afternoon. But I it's like have I'm, no energy. It's like I own a farm with a oh, grandma or something. Regenerate energy. Oh, I got something. Wait, how do oh, I do I found it? You. Pull. Oh my goodness! Right click. Now I'm going to save your ears from the rest of that horrid country accent. Actually, no, I'm gonna make you listen to it. He's a big oh, oh shoot! <laughs> oh shoot! He's a big <laughs> Oh yes, sir. You already know I'll be getting them big fish. He's five inches. That's three inches Can bigger than him? the average. Mm, 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 mm. Shoot. We fenced in the farm and cleaned up some grass around my house. I went to the grocery store and found this shrine in the back room. Then it hit me. My best idea yet. I think we should grow a leaf. <laughs> Imagine. I then decided to steal this random cup. Oh, I'm taking your cup. What the heck? Me stealing his cup started the rearrangement war. This war left me with nothing but a bed. I decided to go exploring. That's when I stumbled upon the neighborhood oh, emo, Sebastian. Oh, I then started losing my temper trying to figure out how to work this waypoint. How do I mark this? Then I met this guy named Marlin who told me about the caves. I was just peering down into the old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. But a dark place, huh? I can't read. But as I was reading, I stuttered. As I do in every single one of these voice lines, why this video is taking so long because I have to keep re-recording voice lines because I can't stop stuttering. Anyways, Marlin gave me a sword. I went down to the first layer of the cave and started mining. That's when I realized I have a health bar now. And you know what that means. Anyways, and my enemies were slimes. He's slimy. He oh my goodness, he did. He dropped slime. Oh. Who would have figured? I noticed my inventory was full and realized I accidentally brought a TV with me. I just went deeper. Oh my goodness. That's what she said. Ooh, what is this? What is this 
gooey substance. Green algae. Ugh. Can you come save me before I die? I got I'm literally slimed up. What do you mean by that? Even though my inventory is full, I proceeded to break everything as much as possible. I tried out a new food called a cave carrot, and this time I didn't get sick. At this point, I learned I can take my clothes off. As it got late, I went to have a good night's sleep in my comfy house. Somehow, I woke up in a fully furnished room. As I went outside, I was shocked. <gasps> okay, who's this? Yeah, I didn't read anything he had to say. Well, let me at least try to read it. If you want to get the most out of the words you file, you, uh, you file. Well, I tried. Long story short, he taught me how to craft a furnace. And then I was done talking to him. Stop talking to me. We had nowhere near the resources to craft a furnace. I got mail, but I'm not even going to try and read it at this point. Even after playing for hours, I've noticed we have done basically nothing. We have no achievements. As I started fishing, I noticed in the top corner, my partner just accidentally sold everything. I didn't mean to sell them all. I mean, at least we're rich now, right? Unfortunately, that is going to be the end of this journey for today. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated.